Well, it was such an honor for Southeastern University to be a part of this really special project. And the song that we were lucky enough to feature was The Comforter Has Come. And one of the things that I love about the song right away uh, is just how it speaks to the joy that we have in Christ, the joy that we have in following God. And I, I really believe, in fact, C.S. Lewis says that joy is the serious business of heaven. And I, I fully believe that. And I remember the first time I walked into church, I was 17 years old, and I had never been in a worship environment, had never been in a worship context before. And, and I walked into this church, and they were singing songs, and people were lifting up their hands, and they were emotionally engaged um, and worshiping God. And I had never been in a context like that. And I literally remember thinking, uh, being in there and seeing it, wow, this is the most amazing thing that I've ever seen in my entire life. And uh, it was actually at that time that I responded to the gospel and gave my heart to Christ. And, uh, and like everybody, I have experienced uh, you know, really high highs in life and really low lows, um, even in my time being a Christian. And I think sometimes we think that we're going to become a Christian and everything's going to go great. Uh, but if you have been following Christ for any amount of time, you know that that's not always true. And, but I think the thing that the song speaks to is the fact that we can still have joy in every circumstance and in every situation. And uh, we have confidence that the comforter has come. Uh, my best friend and I, we talk a lot. And uh, one of the things that we were talking about just recently, we're just kind of on the phone and we're talking about all the amazing things that we get to be a part of and uh, all the amazing things that God is doing. And he kind of stopped at one point in the conversation and he makes it kind of a habit of doing this. And I do the same thing to him. Uh, and he goes, man, Andrew, I just can't believe that you're a Christian. I mean, I just can't believe that, that you gave your heart to Christ and that you're a Christian. And, and for me, it's always a great reminder to know that, man, before I'm a pastor, before I'm a leader, before I'm anything, uh, I'm just grateful that my name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And so no matter what you're experiencing, no matter what you're going through, uh, man, whether you're, you're at your highest mountain or your lowest valley, I just want to really encourage you that uh, you can... Uh, really take peace in knowing that the comforter has come, that uh, there's nothing that you can experience, there's nothing that you can go through uh, where you won't be able to find God's peace and God's love. Uh, so just want to encourage you in that today. Comforter has come, comforter has come, the Holy Ghost from heaven, the Father's pride.